Hey Leo Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. How y'all feeling on this happy, beautiful Sunday? I hope y'all are doing amazing, Leo Collective. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Let's get into this. If you have Leo placements, take what's yours. Leave what's not. Flip it if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. I'm doing three questions. Who's thinking about you? We have the four of swords and we have the six of pentacles. It's a Libra or Taurus for some of you. April 6th could be significant. June 4th could be significant. Let's keep it moving. How are they feeling about you? Ooh, Ace of Cups. We love you. <laughs> and the devil. Okay, wow. Queen of Cups try to fall out too. This person is in love with you. Whoever they are, they're obsessed with you. Could be a um, Capricorn. Their birthday could be January 15th. May 11th could be significant. January 1st could be significant. All right, let's keep it moving to um, their next move, if anything. Wow, the Five of Cups with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, say so what? King of Swords hit the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to communicate with you while King and Queen of Swords. Some of you could be married to this person, but you might be in separation. Yeah, some of you divorced or broke up with this person, maybe because they did something underhanded. They could have just snuck away from the connection without even warning. Suddenly, they just disappeared on you, whether you are married to them or not. You don't even have to be in a long-term commitment, but this is somebody that's a, a divine counterpart. Because you got the king and queen of swords coming out. I feel like you and this person, communication was really good between you two. And then something happened suddenly that made it cease. This person did something. They thought they could get away with something. July 16th could be significant. Or June the 17th could be significant. Um, whew, I don't know, y'all. Something could be happening on July 16th, though, between you and this person. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you found out the truth about something this person was doing that shocked you. Something they were doing behind your back. Something sneaky and underhanded. Again, they could have just abruptly disappeared on you. Okay. Who's thinking about you? Well, they really are thinking about you with this Four of Swords and this Six of Pentacles. This is somebody, could be a Libra or a Taurus, who I feel like is thinking very long and hard about you. Like they sit around contemplating, meditating um, about your connection. I feel like they think about the fact that they did not give to you what they should have given to you. The force force is like a break, a pause. It's like nothing's really happening, but they're thinking about offering you some type of reciprocity where they were not doing that before. Hmm. This person breadcrumbs you, whoever they are. So that's who's thinking about you. How are they feeling about you? They got the Ace of Cups and the Devil card. This person is addicted to you. They're obsessed with you. They could be a bit codependent to a degree. It could be a Capricorn, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I do feel like they have a lot of love for you, but something about the love is toxic, okay? I feel like they're thinking about how they wronged you in a relationship with not giving you everything that you deserve. They were This is a selfish person. This is a selfish person that does love you, but they're selfish. And it's like one of these people I'm hearing, I can't help myself. Like, it's almost like something is beyond their control, although we know that's not true. That's how they feel. They have like this restriction inside of themselves that doesn't allow them to go, but so far in relationships for other people or with other people. You know, a very self-interested person. But um, their next move to you is the Five of Cups and then the Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like a lot of regret and remorse and disappointment in themselves for how they've been so fickle, vain. You know what I mean? Self-absorbed. They were they haven't been giving to you like the Queen of Pens I mean the Queen of uh, Cups would be. Some of you is a water sign, heavy cancer, heavy Scorpio, but could also be a Pisces. Yeah, so this person is disappointed in themselves. They could be expressing to you that they're disappointed with this King of Swords and this Queen of Swords coming out. They could be expressing to you some things that they've done. Some kind of shocking information could be coming in from this person about some things they were doing behind your back and why the relationship did not progress the way you felt like it should. Yeah, some type of explanation for why. Is coming in. This person has been so selfish. They've been very selfish. I see a lot of selfish energy here. Resolve. Yes. Number 68 could be the year some of you were born. Um, or you could be 68. This is a period of indecision and inner conflict. And it's time to make a decision. Yeah. 
this person is going through some inner conflict. They feel really, really bad for what they've done to you. And they've been constantly thinking about it. June um, the 8th could have been significant between you two. It could be somebody's birthday. You could be dealing with a cancer. We, I mean, oh, no, it's, that's not a cancer. That's a uh, Gemini. So we have uh, past life connections, number 18. You are currently healing past life wounds. Wow. Mm. Somebody's mother. Something about somebody's mother could be significant here. In their next move toward you. Maybe they have to defy their mother. Maybe their mother does. You don't get along with their mother or something. Or the mother of their child. There's some, some other feminine possibly. Or it could be a masculine, obviously. There's somebody here. Yeah. Could be why you haven't heard from them. Another party. To even include a mother or father. Hmm. This person made a decision they didn't want to make. Again, I heard I can't I can't help myself. I don't know. I don't know. This person could have addictions though. They could be trying to heal some kind of addictions. It could just be codependency, but it could be alcohol, drugs, it could be anything. Sex, love, especially coming out with the ace of cups. Somebody could be a love addict. That is a thing. In case y'all want to look it up. That's a codependent person. That's what a love addict is. So that's what this card represents anyway. Yeah, could be a person who likes to get a lot of attention. They constantly need stimulation and ego stroking. This is an ego card. They love you with their ego. All right, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace, Leo.